Hi, Pastor Jeff and Don. My question is simple. Why is it important to join a church rather than to attend and tie to that particular church without joining? I believe I understand what the basis behind joining is, but would like to get your official thoughts. Okay, so obviously I'm a pastor. I'm leading, I'm leading a local congregation that we're believing is going to have a dynamic impact in this part of the world. We're believing that God wants High Ridge Church to change this culture. And it's happening one life at a time, and it's awesome the way, that, the way that we're on an increase right now. It's really exciting. So I believe in church membership, and I can defend it from the Scripture. Really shouldn't have to or need to, but nevertheless, I want you to see a couple Scriptures because these insights might help you to recognize a concept that I greatly value, and that concept is family. So Acts chapter 2, verse 40, 47. And each day the Lord added to their fellowship those who were being saved. So here's what they did. Every, so in, in the early church, this is in Acts chapter 2, one time there were 3,000 added in one day, and another time there were 5,000 that joined the church in one day. That would be church growth. Can we all agree? Now, if that were to happen today, that would freak some people out. You know, you'd lose your seat. You, you, would, you would lose your favorite spot. Things would change. But what about the change that happens in their life and the blessing that happens in their life when they meet Jesus and they understand that they're received and accepted in a family, in a spiritual family, in a household of faith like ours, High Ridge Church. So they knew, they counted, and they knew when people were added. If it wasn't important for the addition, and that's the word I would build off of in that verse, is added. If the addition wasn't important, then the Holy Spirit wouldn't have spoken through Dr. Luke to write that word down when he was capturing church growth. So I would just say that they knew who was added. Acts chapter 6, verse 3 says this, And so, brothers, select seven men who are well-respected and full of the Spirit and wisdom. We will give them this responsibility. And the responsibility was to serve the widow's food. How did they know who to select? Did they just go walking through the streets of Jerusalem and just grab some guy that looked like a nice guy? Did they go out into one of the suburbs? Did they go out into Judea and they just went out to the, that, that nice farmer? looks like he's doing a great job right there farming. Let's grab him and bring him in to be the one that waits on the widows. No, that's not how they did it. They looked who was there, who, who was with them, who was us. And they selected from among us those who had wisdom and those who had the spirit. And those were the ones that were able to become servants. They knew who to pick from because they were a spiritual family. Now, I know things happen in church life. Um, unfortunately, mistakes are made. People are human. Um, just let me make it really clear that the, the lead pastor of this church, the one holding the microphone right now, is not perfect. But I can promise you this. I'm going to do my dead level best from now until the Lord returns to never disappoint you. And I take that seriously. I have asked the Holy Spirit to touch my life anytime anything would cause me in any way to default on anything that God's given me that would hurt you. That'd be the least thing on this planet that I'd want to do. I want you to be blessed and strong. I want you to, to be glad that you're a part of the family of God. So I'm going to do everything I can, and Don included all the elders as well. We're going to do everything we can to do well in leading you. And the second part of the question was where to take your tithes. And the scripture is clear. You take them into the storehouse. You take your money where you're being fed and where you're being led, where you're being blessed. And your money goes then to help it touch other people's lives, and it ends up helping you too. Right now, our children are being blessed. In, in children's church right now, the fourth, fifth, and sixth graders are having a dynamic time. Why? Because we've given tithes. It's paying for the sound system in there. It's paying for support staff. It's paying for curriculum and materials so that our kids can be blessed and grow in God. Somebody say amen to that. And that's what a church should do. So I go back to, to a, a song that God touched my life with one time. And it goes like this. We are family. Hey, 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 hey. I got all my okay, sisters. Okay, moving right along. Hey, hey, hey. 